I believe Klitschko said that he had never fought a southpaw, even as an amateur. And they just don't see the punches coming sometimes. Well, a year ago in Germany, it was the opinion of many that younger brother Vladimir didn't see the punches coming. And here's the reception for Vitaly Klitschko in the house that Klitschko built a year ago. People have asked him if he is defending the Klitschko name. If somehow uh, he has to deal with all of this uh, pressure of the two uh, fighters who are going to take over the world and suddenly there's only one of them. He says he's tried to build a wall around his, his emotions. But when I interviewed him a week ago, Jim, I thought I saw his eyes get watery when we talked about the subject. Let me say this, Larry, as I picked up on the fact that he enters the ring to the Eagles Hotel California, this fight tonight could be heaven or it could be hell for Vitaly Klitschko. Let's go to ring announcer Michael Buffer for the official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, good evening and welcome to Staples Center, Los Angeles, California, USA, where tonight, K2 Promotions presents the main event of the evening, 12 rounds of boxing for the vacant WBC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Brought to you in association with Universum Box Promotions and AEG and sponsored by Pechanga Resort Casino and your undisputed king of beers, Budweiser. Sanctioned by the California State Athletic Commission, Chairman Sanford Michaelman, Vice Chairman Chris Mears, WBC President Jose Suleiman. The scoring will be done from ringside by three judges using the 10-point system. The judges assigned are... From South Africa, Alfred Buguana. From the United States, Marty Denkin. From Belgium, Daniel Van de Veel. And when the bell rings, your referee in charge of the action from California, USA, John Shorley. And now, from Staples Center, Los Angeles, California, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, let's get her to rumble! Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black. His official weight, 245 pounds. His professional record, 33 victories, including 31 knockouts with only two defeats. From Kiev, Ukraine, the number one rank, WBC heavyweight contender and former WBO world heavyweight champion, Vitaly, Dr. Iron Fist, Klitschko. And his opponent across the ring, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing white, and he officially weighs 235 pounds. He has a professional record consisting of 39 victories, including 29 knockouts with only two defeats. Fighting out of Pretoria in the new South Africa, the number two ranked WBC contender and former WBO heavyweight world champion, Corey the Sniper Sanders. Sanders. Klitschko, пожалуйста. Chief second only. Chief second only. Chief second. You gotta go. You gotta go back. Chief second only. Okay, guys, this is for the WBC heavyweight championship. I expect a good, clean fight from both of you. Я желаю вам обоим хороших и чистого боя. Обе мои команды at all times and protect yourselves at all times. Слушайте мои команды и защищайте. Touch gloves. Good luck. Удачи. Two weeks ago, Jim. The fighter who could give better than he could take, Vladimir Klitschko, was beaten by the fighter who could take better than he could give, Ramon Brewster. 
you wonder if uh, we might get a similar scenario here in this scenario Vitaly Klitschko is thought to be able to take and Corey Sanders is the one who can give and you talked about Sanders generous tummy and loose chest both now visible in the ring particularly in contrast to the statuesque Vitaly who is mostly muscle out there. Sanders' body and the nature of his muscles, great for golf, not all that bad for boxing if what you want is speed. And there's the first left hand up the pipe for Corey Sanders. Let's see if Vitaly comes back with a straight right hand down the middle. Sanders is looking to counterpunch, trying to lure Klitschko into throwing something. Reaching across the top with the left. Klitschko coming back with a left of his own. Sanders hasn't landed anything solid so far. Vitaly Klitschko going after Sanders a little bit more aggressively now with the jab. Nice right hand to the body by Klitschko. The ample body of Corey Sanders. Sanders in a corner, doesn't look nearly at ease in there to the degree that he did a year ago in Germany against Vladimir Klitschko. Maybe already he feels like this is a different thing, but Sanders lands a left and now lands a quick right over the top. Already you can see the difference between the Klitschkos and how Vitaly is more defensive when... Sanders goes on the offensive. Vitaly Klitschko landed two stiff jabs, stopped Sanders as he wanted to approach. Now a right hand across the top from Sanders as he traded with, or I check it from Vitaly, as he traded with Sanders and had the longer punch. Vitaly able to tie Sanders up as he gets inside trying to throw a quick left. There you saw Klitschko blocking the left with his right. Most of Sanders' knockouts come from the left hand, although he did knock out one man a few years ago with a right uppercut. There's a big left hand from Sanders, and Vitaly Klitschko took it pretty well and comes back with a right of his own. Takes another left. The thunder has begun with a minute to go in round one. Now the landed punches oh, mean something. Oh, I got you. I got you. Step back. Vitaly trying to hook, then jab, now lands a straight right hand up the middle and back Sanders up. First round much kinder to Vitaly Klitschko against Corey Sanders than was the case last year for Nunga Brother. Hard left hand, staggers Vitaly. Vitaly Klitschko staggered by Sanders left. Vitaly trying to hold on as Sanders tries to follow up. Ten seconds to go in the round. And it's not going to be called a knockdown. That's short, hard left hand by Sanders. There's nothing like it in boxing. Sanders is deliberately trying to bait Klitschko in and succeeds in setting that trap, landing that short, hard left hand. From another angle, same punch. Klitschko seemed just about to decide that Sanders didn't have much tonight and that he might go after him a little bit when he was abruptly met with the left hand. Most of the offense in the first round scored by Vitaly. He was 15 out of 33 punches by CompuBox for 45%. Sanders threw 52 punches, landed only 15, but landed more power connects. Vitaly worked behind the jab, which Corey basically didn't bother with. Straight 
right hand attempt by Vitaly Klitschko. Matt Sanders left, failed to make clean contact. Vitaly just dodging the straight left that time. Squared up against the ropes, lands a right hand and now grabs Sanders around the shoulder. Big miss by Sanders, couple of little taps by Vitaly. The way Sanders is already breathing hard, he's counting on catching Klitschko in the first third of the fight, if not the first half. Sanders is either already tired or playing possum, one of the two. He's walking flat-footed, showing little energy, and we're only midway through round two. Body shot by Vitaly Klitschko. Sanders standing as though he's sizing up a five iron to the green. But he could be getting ready to lash out with one of those. Body shots by Sanders, backing Vitaly off. Vitaly goes back after it. Two jabs and a right hand. Klitschko seems to have judged that Sanders is tired. Vitaly Klitschko. Folks, this is heavyweight boxing. Two whales wailing away at each other. There's a little mouse under the right eye of Sanders already. Perhaps from Klitschko's jab. And a straight right hand lands flush for Vitaly. The right hand straight was the best punch of the fight so far for Vitaly Klitschko. The reach advantage comes into play. And the right hand lands again. Straight right hand again for Klitschko. Sanders not doing much in round two. Seemingly low on energy. Just waiting for the home run. It seems everything is his that he is doing depends on one punch. And Sanders having to reach a little farther now to try to get in a big shot, that diminishes the power. Crowd is up. Again, they've been on their feet after both of the first two rounds. They like what they're getting for the money. If you can speak German, you may understand what trainer Fritz Sedinik is saying to Vitaly Klitschko. You also see younger brother Vladimir offering his own advice through the ropes from an angle. Vladimir may be relaying advice from Emmanuel Stewart, who's sitting with him and offering observations. In round two, Klitschko with an 18 to 6 edge and connects according to Coffee Box. Sanders slowed down precipitously in the second round. like the journeyman Corey Sanders who was supposed to have been a perfunctory opponent for Vladimir Klitschko last year in Hanover, Germany. But already we've seen how Vitaly Klitschko is a more resourceful fighter than his young brother. He has a sense of when to hold him and when to fold him. He doesn't throw 70 punches around. He doesn't go in there and sell out his six foot seven inch body the way his brother has a tendency to do. Yeah, he fights at a more appropriate place for a giant man. People used to be frustrated with Lennox Lewis's relatively cautious style sometimes. But Lewis knew that at 6'5 and 250 pounds, he couldn't go in and unload every weapon in his repertoire. Vitaly fights more like that. Sanders looks dead tired. His arms are at his waist 
as Klitschko looks for a chance to land something big. There's the hard left hand by Sanders. Followed by two more. Three of them right in a row. Two of them connected, and Vitaly felt them. And now Vitaly gets in a good straight right hand and steps away as Sanders flailed at the ropes. Round three of the schedule 12. Nobody, nobody expects this to go 12. Big left hand from Sanders. Stuns Vitaly. Klitschko backing up in trouble. Gets in again. Last minute of the third round, Vitaly Klitschko starts to hold on. There's a mouse under Vitaly's left eye. Slugfest in the center of the ring. Can Sanders land another big one? Hard right hand by Vitaly Klitschko. Another one. Sanders takes them both pretty well. Third straight right hand by Vitaly, and he steps away before Sanders can set the left. Two more. Sanders misses with the big left. Vitaly pounds him twice with the right hand. And some lefts. Big right hand by Klitschko. Whoa! This is one of the best heavyweight rounds we have seen in years. Cut. And they're on their feet again at Staples Center. You're on the right track. Keep on going like that. Sanders waiting all round to throw one burst, try to end the fight. The punch did not leave land square. You can see Klitschko backing up, taking his measure, and coming back with straight rights and lefts. This is going to come down to conditioning and will if it keeps up for another round or two. We go to the fourth. Harold, how do you have it scored through the first three? Cage, Jim. Two rounds to one. 29-28. Vitaly Klitschko. The first round you had to give to Corey Sanders. Uh, he staggered Vitaly. looked real good. He seems to fight a lot better, Jim, when he's coming forward. A lot of southpaws are like that. With a moving forward, they're a lot better. Vitaly backed them up in rounds two and three. Certainly landed the hardest shots. And CompuBox numbers are beginning to reflect the far higher level of activity for Vitaly Klitschko as Sanders is clearly out there trying to land the one big shot. And literally going to the body as he sees uh, a, an opponent in front of him who doesn't look like he can go a hard 12 rounds. Incidentally, the subject of the name, and I'm the one who should tackle this because I've been all over the ballpark. It started out as Vitaly. Then they told us to use Biddley. It turns out Biddley was a marketing ploy in Germany where Germans, because of their language predilection, have difficulty saying Vitaly. So it became Biddley. And at one point we were told to say Biddley. Now he lives in America. He's back to being Vitaly. Vitaly is what he was as a boy. Vitaly is what we'll call him from now on. Action slowing. Crowd booing, no doubt asking Sanders to trade a little more. Let's go stalking and stalking. I've counted four or five good body punches by Klitschko in this round. Larry, Corey Sanders insists that in the 13 months since he fought Vladimir Klitschko, he was in the gym three hours a day most of the time. But that's not the same as getting ready to fight a prize fight. Yeah, and let's remember, he is 38 years old. He's been largely inactive. He was a tremendous athlete as a boy. He tells us he ran an 11 second 100 meters uh, golfer, etc. He depends a lot on his natural ability uh, rather than biting down and uh, getting 100% of himself. Ran out of gas against Hasim Rahman in a fight in 1999 in which he nearly knocked Rahman through the ropes. It was another situation in which his power was dominant early. 
but then he ran into the fatigue problem. And at that point, Sanders acknowledges, he says, you know, I thought it was over for me. Then 11 American heavyweights turned down the chance to go to Germany to fight Vladimir. And Sanders was finally the one who said yes for 125 grand. Best deal he ever made. Corey Sanders didn't do much in the fourth round. Vitaly Klitschko didn't do much waiting for Corey to do something. Each Friday night, it's on the record with Bob Costas among next week's guests, CSI's William Peterson. May 8th, World Championship Boxing featherweight title holder Juan Manuel Marquez versus Ferrero beater Manny Pacquiao. May 15th, HBO pay-per-view Roy Jones against Antonio Tarver. Their first fight was the toughest of Roy's career. And May 22, Floyd Mayweather moves up to 140 pounds to take on Demarcus Chop Chop Corley. The former heavyweight champion of the world who stepped away crowd here responding to the picture of Lennox on the Jumbotron. Many of those who are booing are those who rooted for Vitaly Klitschko against him in here last year. In the fourth round, by CompuBox numbers, Corey Sanders only threw 12 punches. That's the equivalent of barely showing up. Well, maybe he's trying to refuel and took just took the round off. Sanders isn't going to experience something like a second wind. It appears that Vitaly Klitschko could walk home from here if he can simply avoid Corey's big left hand. That's not what anybody wants to see. There's a big right hand by Vitaly. And more and more, as his left eye swells, it looks as though Vitaly Klitschko will try to go for a finish. believe that the left eye so badly ripped open by Lennox Lewis would break open at first contact here. That hasn't happened. Good left hook around the guard. It's starting to look a little like a bad sparring session, although the danger is always there as long as Sanders can throw the left. Uh, it's it's a one-shot strategy he seems to be following now. He's not even making a pretense at trying to win rounds. Big swing by Sanders misses big. Vitaly Klitschko's confidence is growing as he watches what's in front of him. Sanders better land something soon. We'll give this to Sanders. He's taking some stiff shots on his whiskers, and he keeps working forward right here. Bloody nose as he is. Blood trickling from the left nostril of Sanders. Now Sanders manages to maneuver Vitaly into a corner, but Klitschko punches his way out. Straight right hand lands. Sanders is able to get in a right hook. It's the left hand Vitaly has to worry about. Big right hand lands for Klitschko. Sanders is hurt. He wobbled on that one. Vitaly's trying to put his hand down. Sanders wobbles with 10 seconds left in the round. Referee watching closely. Looks like Corey's going to make it out of the round, but none the better for win. Big shots down the stretch. Blood streaming from both Sanders' nostrils. Vitaly Klitschko closing in on the heavyweight title here. Keep on going with your left hook, and then use your right. You are right on track. You have him right now. Give me the, give me the 
Yeah. Be Just be careful when he's coming with his left, but otherwise it looks very good. Fighting resourcefully, showing discipline. When the opportunities present themselves, Klitschko goes for it. Round five was a withering round for Corey Sanders. Vitaly Klitschko by CompuBox numbers landing 38 out of 57 punches at 67%. Corey Sanders by CompuBox numbers landed one out of 16. So it was a huge round for Klitschko. And it'll be interesting to see if Harold Letterman scored at 10-8. I scored a 10-8. Round six of a scheduled 12. What does Sanders have left? And Tali Klitschko going mostly with the right hand to try to seal the deal here, but the big left hook lands there across the ropes. When a man can punch like Sanders, he always holds out hope. And that keeps him going and taking such fire. We saw George Foreman do that in the late stages of his career. He would take awesome punishment because he believed that if he can get to his opponent, he could change the fight. Sanders that gets in a left as Vitaly Klitschko getting offensive opened himself up. Corey Sanders re-energized for a moment after getting in that left. Vitaly's trying to stem the tide with his right hand. With some straight, oh, big left hand knocks Vitaly back. What a comeback it would be for Sanders if he came back and won the fight after what happened in the last round. A bloody Corey Sanders trying to close in and finish Vitaly Klitschko. Both, May not get another chance. Both bloody now, Jim. But the blood is not coming from Klitschko's left eye. It's, it's coming from his mouth. Correct. Sanders gets in another left. But Vitaly handled that one pretty well. Manages to slip that left hand. Big right hand by Klitschko. Sanders still coming. Boy, Corey Sanders has a beard. He took a giant shot right there, right on the button. Another one. And another one. Neither of those landed as cleanly as the first. Big left hand swing by Sanders, and Klitschko gets in a couple more. How much longer can Corey Sanders take those right hand bombs? Vitaly's spirited bid against Lennox came to an end. He's managed to come back in this round from having taken a big left-hand shot in the first minute. And it's Klitschko dominating again as the round comes to a close. You think any of the other heavyweight titleists can evoke these kinds of cheers? Sanders got something going a little early in this round, but he really didn't have the energy to follow up on it because Klitschko was smart enough to go on the defensive and pull himself together so he could land punches like that. Once again, the copy box numbers one-sided. Klitschko landing 37 out of 63, 59%. 29 of them power shots. Sanders has taken some very big stuff. He landed 8 out of 37, but one of them was that left-hand shot. Harold, how do you have it through 6? Okay, Jim. Five rounds to one. 59-55 by Tally Klitschko. Jim, tactically, he's fighting a very, absolutely beautiful fight. Corey Sanders tips off when he's going to throw that left hand by coming forward. 
Vitaly Klitschow just circles to the left when he knows Corey's going to throw the left, so that Corey Sanders has to reach, and, and he can't hit him. He can't hit Vitaly. Vitaly murdered him with that jab. Good left-hand counter by Klitschko off the right hook by Corey Sanders. And he showed a little quickness with that. Klitschko dropping his left hand. He may be tiring now a little bit also. Seemingly not nearly as tired as Corey Sanders, who has fought only in bursts. Crowd is chanting. Vitaly, Vitaly, Vitaly. Now the South Africans come back chanting Corey, Corey, Corey. The Ukrainian and the South African fighting in Los Angeles. Of course. They trade big shots again, but it looks as though Sanders might be running out of a little steam with those punches. That time he landed a left hand and it didn't bother Vitaly at all. in this fight. body punch in this fight. Vitaly, be still patient, be careful, don't get into much counter punching. You will do it. Trust yourself. You know, we've always kind of thought of Corey Sennon as a gentleman fighter, Jim, who comes out once a year fights, goes back to his farm, goes back to his golfing, but he has shown us that there is a warrior inside him as well. No quitting, Corey Sanders. He still has that big left-hand chance to win the fight. himself tries to wait to throw one more big punch first couple of rounds were scintillating action is still recently they bump heads against the ropes as Klitschko lands another big right hand to the body Corey Sanders is having to walk through a lot of stuff here 
to try to get close to throw something. And he misses wildly with another big left. And now these lefts are not straight lefts, but roundhouses. And just as I say that, he lands a thudding straight left. Seeing Sanders has thrown a couple of meaningful right hands. And they're trading big time again. Just when I said the action had slowed, now they're trading power shots. Vitaly landed a right, Sanders landed another left. Straight right hand stopped Sanders in his tracks. Left hook lands, right hand lands. What a show of courage by Corey Sanders as he takes shot after shot with blood streaming down his face. Just a brawl. A heavyweight brawl. Good, quick left hook by the talent. Sanders can't get off the punch. Sanders flailing like a drunken sailor there. He's ready to go, Jim. And the talent Klitschko is going to try to finish it right here. Unbelievable show of courage by Corey Sanders. What keeps him up? That's it. Finally, the referee rescues Sanders, and Vitaly Klitschko takes his claim. That, folks, once again, was heavyweight boxing. <laughs> so far in his career, Vitaly Klitschko has fought 13 time capsule rounds of heavyweight boxing in Staples Center here in Los Angeles. For a guy who wanted to move from Ukraine to L.A., he's done it in style. And this crowd, for the moment, has chosen its champion. Here's another look at the closing action Finally, in the seventh, in the eighth round, Corey Sanders' left hand was no longer really rocking Vitaly Klitschko. And as Klitschko realized that Sanders had completely run out of gas, he cornered him against the ropes and began systematically to break him up. And at that point, California referee John Shoro stepped in and said, Enough. I'm not going to let him keep hitting you at will. So it's a TKO victory and a heavyweight title belt and maybe something even much bigger than that for Vitaly Klitschko. And here's Michael Buffer with the official particulars. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight here at Staples Center, 17,320 fans came to see a world heavyweight title contest and they saw a great one. Before we go to the official time, a round of applause for this gentleman from South Africa who refused to quit, Corey Sanders. <laughs> Referee John Shorley steps in and calls a halt to the contest at 2 minutes and 46 seconds of round number 8. The winner by knockout victory and now the WBC heavy.